Okay, this could have been one of the most controversial changes, ever. And GNOME has already quite a thing. But because it affects mostly developers rather GNOME casual users, the earth will keep rolling. Plus I believe it is a great change, even if coming with some delay. Anywho, to the matter. So, that's the current builder loaded with a typical GNOME project. And a typical GNOME project has the code files, and the UI files, and the build files, meaning we don't have weird stuff like solutions and nested solutions and all those. Which in turn means we don't need complicated sidebars really. We only need to open normal files and start coding, so let's open some. And what happens is that Builder opens those on the top of the sidebar, something like recent files. That semantically is perhaps a good approach, but in practice people are mostly used to typical tabs. And we do get something like traditional tabbing, if for example we click here, so we can see all our open pages. But in reality the workflow turns to be quite different. Builder actually becomes very shortcut eccentric, so you'll find yourselves to open new files from search, and then switch between them, again with shortcuts. And for split the screens and move the files between the panels, the command palette and keyboard only, and back to shortcuts for files navigation. And that might have been the one single most efficient way, but definitely not what everyone was preferring, and especially people working with VS Code at the same time. So on the next builder we'll get a common tab system, but that doesn't mean we'll lose anything from before. Keyboard and all previous capabilities will be still there. But personally I will go by tapping those cute tabs, that come with a rich context menu, and we can do things like split screens, although in the final release I think that will be done with drag and drop. And by the way, that design will hugely improve the drag and drop capabilities, like moving files between the panels that wasn't that simple before. Eventually I think that design will make Builder more accessible to developers, but yet, the original implementation was a big misfortune that could have been avoided. Meanwhile let me close the panels, because it bugs or something, to show you the new command palette. Which doesn't work yet, but it seems it will have history. One of the most wanted features in command palettes. Oh, and just in case you forgot how ugly GTK Notebook used to be? Awful? But then again? There is always worse. Speaking of tabs, we also have the first experimental implementation for a floating header bar on the terminal. It's mostly like a revealer when we hover the top part of the terminal. But the experience isn't that great to be honest, and I'm not even sure how it can be improved. What's great though, is the new add white entry with confirmation. And the toast notification of course. <gasps>